It's an emotional day for people living near a radioactive waste dump in North St. Louis County. Most of the nuclear waste buried at the Westlake landfill will be removed. Five in your side's Ann Allred explains why the decision is such good news for a group that's been watching that landfill for years. Ann? Okay, for some, today's announcement by the EPA validates concerns they voiced for half a decade. But they say the plan needs more work before crews start moving that contaminated dirt. Inside this Maryland Heights home is a kitchen table where Karen Nickel and Dawn Chapman have spent countless hours talking, worrying, even crying over the safety of their families and friends living nearby. We realize how much it has cost us personally, you know, the past five years and there, you know, it's going to cost us even more the next five years. But today, sitting at the table, they have a reason to smile. The Friends co-founded the nonprofit watchdog group Just Moms STL to help push the EPA to remove the radioactive waste at Westlake Landfill. EPA leaders announced today they plan to remove at least 70% of that waste. They're going to remove what they can get. That's huge. What this does for us is it gives us direction now. For the moms, that direction is twofold, continuing to push for complete removal of the waste and a voluntary relocation for some. I don't think you can sink a shovel into the ground here until we, we do relocation of those living closest to the landfill. That would include families in the Spanish Village neighborhood, some of whom have filed lawsuits claiming radioactive dust from the landfill is in their homes. We're in detailed discussions on what that would look like for this community. And so the kitchen table conversations will continue until the mom's work is done. We're going to have to fight. We're prepared. A statement from the company that owns the landfill said the company's happy the EPA has a plan and it will participate fully in the process moving forward. But Kay, while the moms are very happy about today's announcement, a lot of people in the community are not as happy. There are a lot of different opinions and we're hearing them today, Anne. We heard from the leader of the Westlake Landfill Community Advisory Group. He thinks the plan doesn't go far enough. We were hoping for full removal and our concern about anything less than full removal is that the uh, uh, material left, especially in this case where they're talking about only going down to a 16 foot depth, um, that there's material much deeper than that that's in contact with the groundwater. Topics like that will be brought up during a public comment period with the EPA.